So hi, hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here. Today I would like to show you something that looks a little bit like, like a volcano <laughs> under the microscope. Look, there's the lava coming out here. Yeah, looks like a magma chamber over here. Yeah, quite a quite a nice little uh, nice little volcano. Um, and there is, as a matter of fact, also a second one somewhere. No, not not here. It's on the other side. Ah, here we go. Here's an, here's another one, right? And uh, as a matter of fact, here on the far. Uh, left side here. Yeah, this one did not erupt yet. Okay. Um, now, what are we looking at in, rea in, uh, in reality? Well, this is actually a fungus. Um, it, the fungus, uh, which a fungus which has attacked uh, a leaf. Um, so what we have down here, this is uh, the cross section of a leaf. It's uh, the leaf of a pear plant. Pears are those fruits, and the fungus here is uh, known as so-called pear rust. It's a plant disease, and uh, if uh, this fungus uh, attacks uh, the pear plants, well, then uh, essentially there is the danger of losing the complete harvest uh, because uh, yeah, this fungus can actually result in almost a complete loss um, of uh, of leaves. And especially younger trees are affected, um, and, uh, and when they are affected, then um, of course uh, this can mean almost uh, the complete loss of the harvest. Um, what we can also see down here, uh, further down, is is uh, that there are um, actually the leaf uh, down here seems to be fairly okay yeah, but uh, we see the different types of cells of course uh, it has been it's a stained specimen it's a commercially prepared slide um, but what we have here of course this uh, basically are the structures of the fungus that actually produce the spores and uh, while it's not entirely clear here uh, you cannot see it clearly properly here but uh, the, what we are able to see here these are actually probably the spores uh, that are released from the so-called from the sporangium which is uh, basically the part that produces the spores and then they can uh, spread over the air and, and then they're able to infect uh, another plant. And uh, how does this now look uh, not under the microscope, but how does it look like in, in, in real life? Well, um, the leaves that are affected, they have those red spots on them and this does not always look very nice and uh, you can imagine that therefore, um, yeah, this indeed can cause uh, or can result in a complete loss of, of, of the leaves here. And uh, it's also possible that those uh, structures uh, can be pro over one centimeter in length. Um, here's another picture and uh, basically, yeah, it's not a very nice looking appearance here and therefore I think uh, we can all we can all imagine quite well that uh, this is not good if uh, the crops uh, and the trees are affected uh, with this plant disease. If uh, basically the plants are affected the only thing that you can do is, is you have to remove those branches and those leaves and otherwise there's of course the danger that uh, those infected leaves start to infect also um, the other um, the other parts uh, of the plant or maybe even the neighboring trees and those spores after all are carried away by the by the the wind. Yeah, I think I just wanted to share this uh, with you. I think it's a quite a uh, quite a quite a nice specimen. And uh, <laughs> when I saw it the first time, I had to laugh a little bit to myself uh, because, yeah, indeed, uh, those little structures they do remind me a little bit like uh, like tiny little microscopic volcanoes. I wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always, and see you around next time. Bye bye.